radius is an important component to know for a horizontal curve. But if we have an existing road, we may not have the design plans or know what the radius is. So we may need to estimate or try to measure that radius. So this will be an example, a method of how to determine the radius of a horizontal curve. And we're gonna use two primary terms. We're gonna use a chord, and I'll denote this as the long chord LC, and a term known as the middle ordinate M. So those are two components. These need to be within the bounds of the curve. So if we establish that our PC is here and our PT is here. So again, PC is the point of curvature. PT is the point of tangency. Those are the bounds of the curve. Our chord needs to be anywhere between the PC and the PT. It can't extend beyond those. You can do the full extent from the PC to the PT, or you can do a smaller extent. You can also do multiple chords if you want to try to get uh, a, a better estimate of what the curve, or multiple estimates of what the radius is and see if it changes. If you have a spiral curve, as you get closer to the PC or the PT, you're going to see that radius change. So you may want to stay closer to the center of the curve as you work on estimating the radius of the curve. And our equation for the radius is the middle ordinate squared plus one quarter or 0.25 times the long chord squared divided by two times the middle ordinate. So this is our equation, we'll get a solve for the radius. And if we were thinking about what the radius looks like, this is what the radius would look like when we're looking at the curve. So the radius is the amount of curvature that we have. Putting in some, some example values here, if we had a long cord of 100 feet, so if we're measuring, we've got a, you can measure this actually in the field as well along the center line of the road, take a measuring tape of 100 feet, and then at the midpoint, measure the distance from that straight line to the curve itself. And in the case of, let's say that we have six inches or a half of a foot for our middle ordinate, we plug that into our equation, we will get a radius of about 2,500 feet. So that's a pretty large radius, uh, and that should make sense. We've got a fairly long cord here, and then a very small middle ordinate of only six inches. If we change these values, so let's say that our long cord is still 100 feet, but our middle ordinate now is two feet, so we've got a much larger distance now between the cord and the curve, that would give us a radius of about 626 feet. So if you want to check those values and check that equation, this is again one way to use an equation to measure or estimate the radius of a curve. If you don't know it, if you don't have the design values, and the nice thing is you can apply this with a simple online measuring tool. Google Earth will work uh, to try to estimate the radius of the curve.